there's not as much tension as one might think between the research and the teaching mission. And I think it's really um, well exemplified in our strong graduate and professional programs. We've been Mary's been so intentional and selective in the graduate and professional programs that we've decided to offer that we've delved into only those that really build upon a very strong arts and science tradition. So whether it's the PhD programs in arts and sciences or law, business, and education, they naturally extend and, um, as I said, build upon the arts and sciences in terms of the content and the, the habits of mind that we expect. Virginia McLaughlin believes that William & Mary is uniquely representative of a school that is large enough for excellence and small enough for community. McLaughlin, Dean of the School of Education, recently spoke with us about that and other aspects of the university's new strategic plan. We've seen many of our peer institutions engaged in what many call mission creep, that there's a temptation to kind of proliferate graduate programs and for the baccalaureates to begin to offer master's programs, for the comprehensives to move into the PhD areas. And William and Mary has had to be very purposeful in resisting that temptation and really sticking to the areas in which we can be truly distinctive. We don't know what the magic number is in terms of size but we want it to be a community where you've never met everybody, you've never exhausted the opportunities. There's always much more beckoning uh, to, to students to become involved. Yet at the same time, it is a small enough community that seldom would someone walk into a new situation without knowing people. That there's this network of community among peers, as students, as faculty members, um, where there's a degree of comfort, a degree of acceptance and familiarity that um, is really conducive to developing one's potential. The graduate programs do benefit undergraduate students. Um, we certainly look a lot like the premier liberal arts colleges, but in our efforts to be a research intensive university, we're able to offer a sufficient array of graduate and professional programs that students have access to a range of faculty experts, a range of resources that most liberal arts colleges would simply not provide. Uh, so our graduate students tend to be active professionals from the field, so their involvement in classes and clinical experiences it is of great value. It really enriches what we can bring to the classroom. And then the kind of faculty member that we really work hard to attract and the ones who just thrive and, and do beautifully at William & Mary are the ones who, who maintain that commit, those commitments to, to teaching, to active scholarship, through service to the field. And they do it not because of merit evaluations or because that's required for tenure and promotion, but they do it because that's where their work comes alive. Those are the laboratories, those are the settings where their work makes a difference. And so that's what really keeps them rejuvenated and current in their profession. You have talked about how the new education building due to open next fall represents an opportunity of a lifetime. We recognize it as the opportunity of a lifetime for a School of Ed. Interestingly enough, our move-in in the building in 2010 and 11 coincides with the 50th anniversary of this School of Education. So we will have a year-long celebration of uh, our new facility and all the opportunities that that brings together with looking back on the accomplishments of 50 years and looking ahead to the leadership role that this School of Education intends to take on.